I am currently standing on the tallest residential tower here in downtown Los Angeles. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Metropolis in downtown LA, a $1 billion project constructed by Greenland USA, featuring four individual towers, including Hotel Indigo, one of LA's most luxurious hotels. And today we're going to be touring four of the most expensive penthouses available for lease at the Thea Tower, the tallest out of the four here. Before we begin, I wanna say a huge thank you to Media Musavi, who will be exclusively representing all of these units here at Metropolis. You could of course find all of his information down below. We're also gonna be checking out all of LA's best amenities ever here at Metropolis. Also, before we begin, make sure to like and subscribe. And now let's get into it. We are here today in bright and sunny downtown Los Angeles in the center of the Metropolis complex, which contains three residential towers and one hotel tower, which is called Hotel Indigo. We have so much greenery out here in this space. And I should mention, with all of the amenities combined here, you have over 100,000 feet of space out here. It is crazy. You can see here, we've got access into two different towers on either side of me. This area is complete with tons of seating sections all throughout. It's also surprisingly quiet up here. You would think that being next to city streets and the freeways that it would be super loud and obnoxious up here, but it's quite the opposite. It's very peaceful up here. I could imagine myself sitting, reading a book, relaxing, feeling the cool breeze, surrounded by all of this tranquil foliage here. You've even got two outdoor stainless steel Viking barbecues and tons of built-in bench seating right here. It's just so cool, the fact that you can invite all your friends and family down here whenever you want to. Enjoy this greenery, enjoy the city views out here on all sides of the space. It is remarkable. You've got more seating sections on my left, tons of foliage, and I really mean it. Look at the amount of plant life we have that spans all the way down this walkway here. You've got all of the palm trees, and on my right-hand side, we have a beautiful swimming pool complete with a hot tub with several cabanas and absolutely tons of pool chairs to relax on any day of the week that you wish there. Now we're continuing our tour down through the section. So much plant life access into the other tower here on my right. And if we continue through down this expansive walkway in front of me, we've got access into a playground, which is so perfect if you're raising some young ones at the property. Really cool how they have that private space to themselves. You've got some lime trees out here too, pretty crazy. And if you look directly in front of me, you've got a sectioned off guest area, which can be opened up with these accordion sliding doors. You've got some additional seating spaces and a full kitchen in case you wanna grill some steaks with your friends when you invite them over to your brand new apartment or condo here at Metropolis. If we continue through, even more landscaping. And this is the access point into the dog park, which has its own private tunnels. It's got a little dirt section and more plant life there. Literally, you can spoil your kids and your dog out here. It's so, so cool. Now let's continue through. You've got some restrooms out here, additional dirt trails, 
more landscaping. And this spot is really cool too. So right behind these glass panels, you have your private hot tub, which overlooks the city of LA. And you can probably fit like 10, 15 people in there. It's very spacious. More access into that private guest area that I mentioned. And you've also got access into the pool, which is also lined by this impressive row of palm trees on either side. It looks very tropical. It feels like we are at some sort of private resort, hotel and spa, but you're just at your brand new complex here in downtown LA. Now let's continue through. Of course, I keep saying it, there's more landscaping. There's so much out here. You've got a little dog section overlooking the city, more seating areas here on my left-hand side as well. And if we continue down to my right-hand side, that pretty much wraps up our first tour of this lower amenity. We still have a level 27 amenity up there, which we're gonna see. And we actually have to head inside the building because you've got access into even more club areas and a private gym. So let's go ahead and check it out right now. inside the building, we are greeted with even more amenity space. You've got the massive gym on my right with every single piece of exercise equipment you could possibly ask for. And then here on my left, we've got access into some additional lounge and seating areas, which overlook the city of LA. They've got flat screen TVs and they even have bar seating with kitchen access. So crazy. Now we come through, we've got access into six different elevators, which take you up to your unit here in the main building. And if we move down this hallway on my left-hand side, it actually takes us into a private game slash entertainment room. You've also got an office amenity there on my right. But before we see these other seating spaces in front of me, Follow me down through this way. You've got your sliding pocket door, which further leads you into your massive billiards room. It's surrounded by floor to ceiling walls of glass, which overlook Los Angeles. Such a great space to come here with your friends, play a game of pool. All your friends can be sitting here at this amazing bench section. You've got floating shelves up above with ambient lighting. This looks like some sort of luxury mansion, but this is just your amenity here at Metropolis. Now let's move on through. You've got some additional seating sections here, flat screen TVs, views of the city over there. And if we move down through, you even have another little private seating section, this time with dimmer lights. You've got the flat screen TV over there. This might make a really cool sort of movie theater experience for you. It's really, really cool. Now, if we continue down, you got more views of Los Angeles, and this actually takes us into that first lounge, which we previously mentioned, which is complete with tons of seating sections all throughout the area, guys. I mean, just look at how luxurious this really is. I keep saying it, it feels like we're in a luxury mansion, but again, it's your amenity. This is where you can invite your friends and family over every single day. Any resident here gets to utilize all of these amenities. Got more views out there to the foliage at your first amenity. City views over here, tons of seating, and this is also that luxury kitchen that I previously mentioned to you all, which has gorgeous marble countertops all throughout. You've got your coffee machine, you've got your upper and your lower cabinetry, and what's really crazy to me, you've actually got your paneled refrigeration right over here, and freezer displayed below. All your appliances are designed by Gagano, which if you guys know already is top of the top, even when it comes to homes. So the fact you have them in your shared amenity is pretty unreal. Got some additional seating spaces here like we previously mentioned, but that pretty much wraps our tour for all of the amenities here on floor nine. So now we're gonna jump up to floor 27 and show you the amenity in the sky, then the penthouse collection, so let's go ahead and do it. Here we are 
our guys at floor 27 of the tallest amenity in all of downtown Los Angeles. You've got a fire pit with seating sections paired with impressive views all throughout. You've got a massive shuffleboarding area here in case you're into that. More grass sections surrounded by succulents. You've got your outdoor kitchen complete with this gorgeous stonework. Your outdoor sections have waterfall edge countertops here. You've got the outdoor barbecue designed by Wolf. You've got your ice maker down here, all of your refrigeration sections, built-in sink. I mean, again, it feels like we're in some sort of mega mansion up in the sky, but this is the place where you can relax and entertain all of your guests if you live here at Metropolis. You've got more seating areas around me. Also, this outdoor kitchen has bar seating for up to five splayed right over here. Now, if we continue down, a fire pit actually sections off these two areas where we have more spots to sit and relax with friends. You can see that this entire section is also nicely glass paneled for your safety. And from this vantage point, you can see all of downtown LA's major landmarks, including the Crypto.com Arena just right there in front of me. You can see the Intercontinental Hotel in front of me as well, the 777 Tower. This is just so, so crazy. I love this view so much. And then down below here on my left, you actually get a little bit of a peek of your level nine amenity, which has the pool. It's got all of the palm trees as well. As I said earlier, guys, you've got over 100,000 square feet of usable amenity space at the Metropolis development. Now, if we head back through this side, that almost wraps up our tour for floor 27, but we actually have to head back inside and check out the interior amenities. So let's go ahead and check it out. inside to the floor 27 amenities you've got various seating sections complemented with city views and you actually have another pocket sliding door which further takes you into this kitchen area which has more impressive city views built-in tables and look at this kitchen island right here look at the unique stone detail that they have on this space it's got a waterfall edge it's also got top of the line gagano appliances throughout microwaves espresso machines ovens you've got the mirrored backsplash with custom upper and lower cabinetry all throughout here you've got the built-in sink five burner stove top and you've also got a panel dishwasher right here and we take a look here paneled fridge with the freezer down below again designed by gagano which again are the leading appliance makers for residential homes it's pretty crazy that you have this in your amenity also in front of me just wanted to show this detail briefly you've got the mirrored backsplash with the floating shelves and you've got some additional pull out refrigeration spaces in case you're entertaining up here you got all your wine bottles you got your waters down there for your guests and if we slide this door back right here this takes us into a private office section complete with more city views and spots to relax and get some work done maybe do your homework in this space if you want to and you can see that this area takes you into your six elevator waiting area which also is going to be leading us up to floor 58 and 59 where we're going to check out the exclusive Thea penthouse collection so let's go ahead and head up there right now have just made it up to floor 58 here at the Thea Tower. This contains four of the penthouse units and we also have four more penthouse units up above on floor 59 and we're also going to be seeing those penthouses just after this one so make sure to stick around. Follow me down. This is your exclusive hallway, which takes you straight into your unit. You can see here on the exterior, you've got a wall sconce and you've got the beautiful wooden paneling, which takes you straight into your grand hallway. Right upon entering, we've got access to a couple of guest bedrooms and an office on my left 
powder room and laundry room on my right. We've also got the primary bedroom suite on my right, but we're gonna wait. We're gonna see those sections a little bit later. First things first, we've got your formal dining table, which has seating for eight, overlooking just the most breathtaking views of Los Angeles that we have absolutely ever seen. Right in front of me, you've got the Ritz-Carlton Hotel, views of the entire city, the Crypto.com Arena, and of course the rest of the towers here at Metropolis. You're just above the entire city. It's so, so remarkable. Now we actually have this divider detail with the wooden panel designs, and this actually sections off you from your open concept living area and kitchen. You've got the contemporary staging all across the section. Just imagine sitting here with your friends, relaxing, watching TV, overlooking literally the entire city. It kind of feels like we are in an airplane. We get these crazy jetliner views all across the city. You've got the mountains over there in the distance. You can see the Intercontinental Hotel, Aeon Tower, literally everything. It's amazing. Now over here, this is where you would have your flat screen TV. This area kind of divides the section so you can still have a comfortable formal meal while you can have some friends out here and still feel real separated. Now in front of me, we've got the well-appointed kitchen, which has seating for five at the breakfast bar here. You've got all of this natural toned custom cabinetry displayed throughout the kitchen. And of course, guys, we gotta make sure they are all soft closing, top of the line materials and appliances throughout. You've got Gagano appliances across the space, which if you don't already know, is pretty much one of the top appliance brands on the market right now. You've got the espresso machine surrounded with all of this natural toned custom cabinetry. You've got your microwave. You've got the oven set up over here. And you've also got the warming tray at the very bottom. Over here, you've got your five burner range designed by Gagano once again with the hood mounted right above that. And of course, you've got quartzite countertops with the backsplash to match built-in sink on my left. And of course, you've also got your nicely paneled dishwasher section. And then if we continue through, this is really cool. Gagano side-by-side -side fridge and freezer. And take a look at how beautiful this fridge is right now. They actually staged the fridge, guys, because they had an event up here just last weekend. Just take a look at how amazing this is. Imagine being up here during that party. That's crazy. Now, one more thing, you've also got yourself another Gagano refrigeration section just right down below, ideal for storing your wine bottles, etc. Beautiful section overall. You get the views all across this space. But now, let's head back right over here, down this hallway. We've got access into the primary bedroom suite, which again is staged beautifully with contemporary furniture all throughout. You've got the views, once again, of the Ritz-Carlton, of the Crypto.com Arena, and just views all the way out to the ocean. You can literally see down to Century City and the San Gabriel Mountains in the distance. This is a very rare and exclusive view to wake up to every morning. Now, follow me down. We've got some storage here, and then right here on my right, this is your primary closet in the sky. It's completely built out from floor to ceiling. You've got the integrated LED light strips situated all throughout. Also guys, of course, all of this cabinetry is soft closing. You've got a little seating area in the center. What a great space to have all of your amazing pieces of clothing. Now directly in front of me, this is the primary bathroom. And I mean, just talk about an insane view to look at every time you wanna take a bath, every time you wanna just wash your hands, brush your teeth, look out at this. I mean, seriously, I couldn't imagine anything better. This is as good as it gets up here. You've got your dual vanity completely floating off the ground, two mounted mirrors with the wall sconces, and if you did notice, this entire bathroom is completely wrapped with marble details. I'm talking about marble floors all across the walls right here. You've got that fabricated shelving and all of that marble even continues over here into your water closet, 
which is nicely glass enclosed. And then to the left of that, you've got a beautiful marble shower to complement with two built-in rain heads, illuminated shelving, and of course you've got that body spray. The marble looks so incredible. Now let's head outside of this section down the hallway. I also love the art that they have installed across this entire space. It looks remarkable. Let's take a turn here briefly to my left-hand side. We've got access into the powder room, which has this darker wooden tone across all of the walls in here. You've got your vanity with the quartzite details, You've got the built-in sink and the wall sconce above, which kind of looks like it's got a marble detail. That's pretty cool. Now to my left, you've got the laundry room, which has space for two appliances. And if we continue down, this is actually the front entry, which we initially came from. And now I wanna take you to the left wing of this unit here. Let's take a right-hand turn. This is one of the guest bedrooms that we have in this unit. Of course, it's just got some of the best views ever. Looking out to the 777 tower, you've got Aon, you've got US Bank in the distance, the beautiful views. I mean, seriously, wake up to this every day. I couldn't imagine anything better. Now let's continue down through this section here. You've got your walk-in closet and then you've got your ensuite bathroom, which is complete with a floating vanity, of course. You've got the marble floors extending over into this bathtub shower combination. You've got the subway tiles inside of the space raised ceiling design with the recessed LEDs. It just looks so great in here. I love every finish and every detail they brought into all of these units. Now follow me down this hallway here. We've got access into another guest bedroom complete with contemporary staging once again. Similar views to the last bedroom that we did just see. And of course, you've also got your ensuite bathroom with another built out vanity. And you've got that shower bathtub combination with the fabricated shelving. It looks absolutely incredible. And if you want to section off the space, you've got a pocket slider. Now follow me down this way here. This is the final guest bedroom for the space, which is currently being utilized as an executive office. You've got the artwork throughout. You've of course got views of the entire city of LA and you actually have some of the best views of all of the office towers here in downtown. So maybe that's why they decided to go for an office theme in here. You've got the closet on my left and then you've got the ensuite bathroom here on my right. It looks just like the last one we saw. We've got the marble floors, built out vanity, and you've got your shower bathtub combination, nicely tiled all throughout. And now follow me back down through this section here. And that actually wraps up our tour for this penthouse on floor 58. So now we're gonna jump up and we're gonna check out all of the penthouse units located on floor 59. So let's go ahead and do it. We are here on floor 59 of Thea at Metropolis here at your exclusive penthouse entryway. You've got the mirror detail on the walls and you've got this dramatic hallway which leads you into the first penthouse that we're going to be checking out. Keep in mind, we've got four up here on this level. This is the first one. This is unit 5903. Here are the specs of the unit right below me. And you can see upon entering this section, you were immediately greeted with some of the best views in all of Los Angeles here looking out to the San Gabriel Mountains. You can see Griffith Park. You can see the Hollywood sign. You can also see the Intercontinental Hotel, the Aeon Office Tower. Everything here in LA is right at your fingertips. It looks remarkable. I'm such a huge fan of just this wall of glass which surrounds this entire section. It looks so unlike anything we've really ever seen before. You've got your well-appointed kitchen, which has the waterfall edge detail, complete with all Gagano appliances, 
paneled fridge and freezer with the built-in sink. And when you're in here, you also get those remarkable views. Now we've got this first hallway that we're going to be seeing in the unit, which has access into the first bedroom, which overlooks the city. It's also got a full-size ensuite bathroom. And if we continue down right here, this is gonna be access into the primary bedroom suite, which again is framed with these remarkable views of the mountains and the city in the distance. And if we continue our tour here to my right hand side, one of the most impressive bathrooms I think we have ever seen before on this channel, guys. Take a look at the marble, which is clad literally on the walls all the way down to the floors right here. And let's not forget these impressive views you have. This doesn't even look real, I swear. You got the Intercontinental right there. All of Los Angeles is just, again, right under your nose. It's crazy. You've got the freestanding tub surrounded by marble with the fabricated shelving. Just take a bath right here, overlook the views. You've also got your dual vanity setup, which is floating off the ground. And then you've got your glass enclosed shower with two rain heads surrounded by more of those marble details. This is just so, so crazy. Now in front of me, we've got your primary closet complete with all of the floor to ceiling built-ins in there. And if we head back out of this hallway here, we're gonna make a right-hand turn. The space further takes us into the powder room, which has the wood clad detail throughout. You've got the marble details on the sink and you're of course getting remarkable LA views from this section. Now to the left of me, you've actually got this sliding pocket door, which takes you into the final bedroom of this unit, which is complete with more remarkable views. And it's got an ensuite bathroom, which is fully clad with those marble details. Now, that's all for the first penthouse unit. So now we're gonna head down the hall to unit 5905. And here are the specs of that unit. And now follow me through your solid wooden clad door. And here we are. You've got the dramatic hallway, which takes you into the grand entertainment space of this penthouse right here, overlooking again, all of Los Angeles. I truly mean it when I say it. You've got the Ritz Carlton Hotel. You've got the Crypto.com Arena. You've also got the Intercontinental here in the corner. These remarkable views, which look out all the way to the ocean, to Catalina Island. This is just so crazy. This is a mansion in the sky right here, guys. You've got, again, another well-appointed kitchen complete with all of your necessary appliances. It's all nicely paneled again all throughout here. And if we continue our tour, you've got this center entertainment area where you can have a mounted flat screen TV. I also like how this kind of sections off this additional area where you maybe could have your formal dining table or a formal conversation area while you're overlooking those just impressive views. Now let's continue down here to my left hand side. This takes us into the primary bedroom suite where you are again greeted with these just tremendous views of the city all the way out to the ocean. The only building you can really see right here is the Ritz Carlton. Now we've got closet storage on my right. And once again, you've got the primary closet, which looks just like the last one. You've got the floor to ceiling custom cabinetry all built in. And right here next to me, the main event, this is the primary bathroom. Take a bath, overlook Los Angeles every day if you wish. It's got all of the same features we saw in the last one, including the luxurious marble cladding all throughout. Now let's head down this hallway over here. Not to confuse anyone, that's the entertainment space that we previously saw. And if we continue down, you've got your in-unit washer and dryer space. And that's also the front entry. On my right here, you've got another guest bedroom complete with an ensuite bathroom and a walk-in closet. And you've got another one here on my left with views, with the bathroom. And this is the final one that we have. Again, complete with more remarkable views. And you've got that ensuite bathroom here on my right hand side. Now, that is all for the first two units on this floor. So now follow me back out to the main hallway 
where we're gonna check out the last two remaining penthouses. Here we are in unit 5902. Again, you've got this dramatic entryway which just greets you with remarkable views once again, guys. I mean, look at this grand ballroom that you have, which overlooks the entire city. I think this one might be my most favorite view in all of the penthouse collection here because you get some of the downtown LA city, you get the Hollywood sign, you get the Griffith Observatory. This just looks so, so crazy. It's like a green screen up here. And imagine this is the space that you're going to be entertaining at every day. You're of course going to have your formal dining table, your seating sections overlooking this view every day. And just like the other penthouses that we saw, you've got all of your top of the line Gagano appliances throughout, including those marble countertops with the marble backsplash, complete with your upper and your lower cabinets. And if we take a turn here to my right hand side, this is the primary bedroom suite for this specific penthouse, which again overlooks a completely different part of Los Angeles. This time again, ocean in the distance. You've got the walk-in closet here on my left. And if we take a turn through here, you've got again, one of those built out primary closets, which has the floor to ceiling storage throughout. And once again, the luxurious primary bathroom, this time with opposite facing vanities. You've got the freestanding tub overlooking the city once again, this time once more to the ocean and to Century City. You've also got the glass enclosed shower on my left. Now, if we continue outside of the primary, we are back into the entry of this penthouse. We've got a guest bedroom on my left with more remarkable views with an ensuite bathroom. And to the right of that, you've got your powder room with the pocket sliding door, which is clad with the wood detail and it's complemented with the floating vanity and it's got marble floors. And to the right of me, we've got a bit of a storage section, which is also your washer and dryer area. And this takes us into the final bedroom of this specific unit, where again, you get the best of both worlds. You've got the downtown LA skyline, but you've also got the Hollywood sign and the Griffith Observatory in the distance, complemented with those San Gabriel Mountains. Now also, you've got yourself an ensuite bathroom wrapped with marble, and that concludes our tour for the third unit on this level. So now, Follow me down the hall and let's check out the final one. Here we are at the fourth and final unit here on floor 59 of Thea at Metropolis. This is unit 5901. It's got some pretty crazy views, but before we see that, I just wanted to mention, you've got yourself a powder room upon entering this space, which is clad with the wooden and the marble details throughout that room. And if we continue through, we've got the same hardwood floors that we have been seeing throughout the rest of the penthouses up here, right when you walk in, greeted with corner facing views of again, the entire city of LA. This time you get some downtown Los Angeles and some Century City and Wilshire Corridor views down there. You've got the Hollywood sign. You've got the San Gabriel mountain range. Again, it's just so crazy to think that this is where you're going to be eating dinner, relaxing and entertaining in front of these views at all times when you're up here. It's so, so mind blowing. You've got a space for the flat screen TV in front of me, and you've got another well-appointed kitchen, just like all of the other units that we've seen. It's got all of the same appliances with the quartzite countertops and backsplash. You've got yourself a Gagano espresso machine wrapped with more of this custom cabinetry all throughout. You've got another sectioned off seating area, which looks directly out to the Ritz Carlton and to the glistening ocean there in the distance. It's so, so cool. Now, if we continue down, we've got some bedrooms over there, but first things first, we're gonna take you into the primary bedroom suite where you've got, again, remarkable views 
literally views in every single room. It's crazy. Now, if we take a turn here to my left-hand side, we've got yourself the primary closet, complete with floor to ceiling built-ins throughout. And if anyone likes Goyard, they got some Goyard boxes in here. Pretty, pretty cool. Now across from the space in front of me, you've got yourself the primary bathroom, which is complete with, again, marble clad details all throughout. You've got this bathtub, so when you're relaxing in here, you're overlooking the entire city. I'm not gonna get in it, but you can just imagine when you're in here, like these are the views that you see. It's unlike anything we've really ever seen or toured before. I just love it so much. You've got your dual vanities that are floating off the ground with the mirror details. And you've also got the glass enclosed shower wrapped with more marble, of course, all throughout. And if we take a turn back outside, you've also got some coat closet storage here too. So essentially you've got two closets in the primary. Now let's head back down here. That's the main entrance. And if we take a turn to my right, this is one of the other guest bedrooms here which has a staged seating section currently. It overlooks the views. You've got the Ritz-Carlton and Catalina Island there in the distance. On my right, you've got an ensuite bathroom with more marble details, and you've got your washer dryer section on my left. And this space takes us into the final guest bedroom where you've got more of an open concept closet storage here. You've also got your ensuite bathroom here wrapped with more marble details on the floors. You've got the shower which doubles as a bathtub with some built-in shelving, recessed lighting, and the floating vanity here. Now across this way, this is the bedroom section which again is hit head on with those remarkable views and you've got the crypto.com arena just there in the distance as well. Now let's head back out to the main event, the entry of the final penthouse here. But that's not all guys. We're actually gonna head up to the private helipad and check out what those crazy views look like. So let's go ahead and do it. up here at the very top of the Thea Tower here in Metropolis. You can see that we have unobstructed 360 degree views of the entire city of LA here. All of the towers are literally at your fingertips. You've got the San Gabriel Mountains right over here, Hollywood sign, Wilshire Corridor, ocean in front of me, this rooftop is so, so incredible. And so is Metropolis as a whole. An over $1 billion project here in downtown LA. Now with that being said, that is all for our tour today here at Metropolis. However, we're gonna stay until the sun sets. We're gonna see what this place looks like at nighttime. So let's get into it right now. again so much for sticking around until the end with us if you haven't already like and subscribe also again a massive thank you to media musavi who will be representing all of these penthouses you can find his info down below in the description what an amazing view here at nighttime once again i'm glad you stuck around with us we'll see you in the next one